So watch how we help this patient get over an infected ingrown toenail that had been bothering them for several weeks. So if you look at this toe, it looks like it's yellow and deformed and possibly a fungus. But if you look at the cuticle or the proximal nail fold, what we refer to as the eponychium, you can see it's gathering some red inflammatory like tissue and that's abnormal. And that's where the patient was getting a lot of their pain. So this patient wants to try and save their toenail. So the plan here is to just temporarily remove it, treat it with an antifungal, hoping that it clears the toenail and allows it to grow back normal. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the nail plate. And you can see, look, there are some pus draining from underneath the nail plate that we have to get out of there. So it's great that we decided to perform this procedure as opposed to just treating with a topical antifungal or an antibiotic that the patient had already failed. So if you look here, we're going to remove the nail and look how loose that proximal nail fold or the eponychium was or what people refer to as a cuticle. As we pull this off, you can see there is disrupted tissue under the nail plate that's all loose skin from where the bacteria was collecting. And if the nail isn't removed in a situation like this, the bacteria can spread, get under the skin folds and cause an even more severe infection. So all we're doing with this procedure is removing the nail plate to drain the infection and the toenail can grow back and it will grow back. But we're also going to treat it with an antibiotic as well as a topical antifungal. So you can see I just put on a petroleum impregnated gauze so that when the bandage comes off, it doesn't stick to the nail bed underneath. This patient will be back to walking and normal activity in about two weeks, sometimes even sooner. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below.